On his examination, he is non-ambulatory tetraparetic, um, severely. He only has motor in the right pelvic limb. Yesterday, he got into a, a little scuffle with another dog. While they were being separated, he kind of stumbled and fell, and then suddenly couldn't walk after that in all four of his legs. Each one of those carries a different treatment, carries a different likelihood of getting better, and that's why doing tests is so important. So I, uh, I think this is the, the, the right thing, um, it's what I'd be doing if you were my pet. So. When I met Jeter, he was in the hospital for a few days before I actually came and did some rehab on him. He was quiet, didn't want to get up, move his head, so we had to fully assist him in anything that he had to do. It's a lot, especially for a dog who is extremely active, to go to completely non-active and having to have full support by you know, humans or other devices. Some of the exercises that we would do for an ANNPE, especially in the beginning, is try to get them back up on their feet so that they don't lose the feeling of where their placement of their feet are in space and being on the ground. So once he is able to stand after doing a few days of rehab, we then focus on the most affected limb just to build the muscle and give him the sensation of standing on that limb. Each time I could see his tail wagging a little bit more, um, his head would actually start to lift and his eyes would be a lot brighter. He would realize that, you know, he's about to get a lot of treats. So by the end of his 10 sessions, he was actually able to bear weight on all four limbs. He was able to place his feet properly. And once we get them to a functional state, we know that they can actually end rehab. His owners were completely happy. Um, I actually get updated videos from him and I see him running in the fields and just super happy. This is exactly why I love to do this job because I see them at their worst when they're depressed, they're down, they can't do what they normally were able to do. And I watch their progress it's almost like little baby steps and I get so excited. I feel like, my, you know, my own child is taking their own first steps and I get to watch them. And it's such an amazing feeling to be part of that.